Good morning. I'm Vivian, and this is my intermittent fasting check-in. Day 10, Sunday, January 28th. This morning I weighed, it, weighed in at 176.8. That's up uh, 6, point six, uh, 6 cents of a uh, pound. BM report. None yesterday at all if, after the check uh, um, for my weigh, uh, after my weigh-in yesterday, and until 8 a.m. 8:30 this morning, so it's like I'm not feeling good. But to be only up uh, that much, so I'll get into that. Sleep. I went to bed early. I felt sleepy. It. it um, so I, I shut down all the electronics. No more screen time after 8:30 last night. And I was in bed by 9 and probably sleep pretty soon for me. 15, 20 minutes has passed for me. Uh, woke up at 1 a.m. Had, uh, had to go to the bathroom to void. And I was surprised. I didn't realize I was drinking that much liquid yesterday. Uh, I did have a big thing of buttermilk. Maybe that did it. I don't know. For the food... Uh, and then I couldn't fall back asleep. Next thing at two o'clock, my husband had to wake up. He had heartburn. He did. Uh, I recommended the apple cider vinegar, and that took care of that for him. He was fine, but then he had a hard time falling asleep. And also my leg, again, I hadn't cramped in a long time, but right behind my left knee, um, just a little bit lower, it kept trying to cramp, and I was able to stretch it out. I did. Um, I debated should I take something, you know, but I, I was able to not need anything. But it was it continued on. <clears throat> uh, I laid there. I don't know how long. I didn't fall back asleep. And as long as I don't get frustrated, I can. As long as I'm laying there and it's peaceful, and I can try to go back to sleep. But once I get to the point where I'm aggravated, I'm not going to fall asleep. So I uh, got up, went to the living room because I didn't want to disturb my husband. He was sleeping. And I watched some YouTube videos, and I kind of let it play. I, I like a, this channel. I was able to just, I needed to watch it. I need, I need a channel I don't need to watch. Find another channel like this one where someone's just talking. <laughs> so I can just listen to them. Uh, I need to find a Bob Ross channel. <laughs> uh, even though you should be watching that. He's just really peaceful. So I, I kind of was sort of watching those videos and I shut my eyes and just listened to her talk. Um, and then I think I fell back asleep maybe an hour or two after that because it was it was five o'clock the last time I looked at the clock. So maybe I got six hours at best, not straight. Three and a half straight and then the rest was very, if that. Um, as for food, I mentioned that I was teaching someone to cook yes, um, in a previous video, and she, you know, she came over, and we were cooking fried rice. I was gonna cook it two different ways, and, and um, wanted to make some sort of pork. So it was a Chinese style pork spare rib. I don't, that's I've never cooked Chinese style before. So I've been talking, uh, PMing with her all week about you know, what to get, and what, you know, she's trying to decide, and she finally decided to cook a meal for her father, and that was his favorite thing, was shrimp fried rice and um, Chinese boneless spare, spare ribs. So, and I also put out some um, spicy Korean pork that I, I had pre-mixed. I make a lot, um, like you saw with the pork shoulders, the Boston butts, I buy in bulk, and then I freeze in, in uh, serving sizes that I can use it in. So it's like um, when I want to make something, I just pull out a pack and, it's, you know, it's all there for me. So I make my own convenience foods. But, she, you know, she came over about 10 and um, taught her how to cook rice, different ways of cooking rice. And then we started cooking. And we also um, I got online and looked up for how to make um, Chinese-style spare ribs. 
and I was teaching her how to make the marinade and what I do. And basically, um, after looking at the recipe, I just altered it a little bit. I, I basically made the Korean um, um, basic marinade of soy sauce a sweetener. I used apple juice. That also cuts down on the saltiness too. Um, garlic, onion, um, black black pepper, hot pepper, um, and or you can use both or neither. Um, uh, and put some ginger and I was just covering the different types of that, you know doing all that so we were cooking the rice and I was showing her how um, and in the cooking lesson it's like you need to learn about cookware you need to learn how to hold a knife I had her chop up an onion um, it was I, I had a good time I think she did too we, we were laughing we were you know and um, but when I had her sample the fried rice I pulled out a couple of spoons from the drawer, gave her one, took one, and tasted it. I was talking about, I don't salt the rice at all. I don't add salt in that time, because most of the time, people add soy sauce. Or some, some restaurants will add soy sauce for you. <clears throat> but I was like, um, I don't, because I know that this is what normally happens, and in tasting it, we both agreed it needed salt. I said, but when they put soy sauce on it, it may become too so, um, salty because it's been salted already. So we're sampling that and then um, put in the shrimp. Shrimp causes me to go, go up three to five pounds more the next day. It causes an inflammatory reaction. It wasn't a lot of shrimp. You know, it's like she had like a one pound bag of pre-cooked shrimp. They even shrunk some, but it's like it was all in there and I ate, I ate some of that. So I'm surprised I'm not more, which is, I guess, a good sign that inflammation isn't as um, serious. And then we cooked the pork, and I sampled the pork, you know, just to make sure. And initially, we started cooking it in a little oven, and then I decided to do some in a skillet, and I like the way the skillet one turned out better. The instructions online were to to uh, broil broil it. So, <clears throat> we cooked, and then she spent a couple of hours here, and she left a little bit after 12. So I was sampling while I was teaching her. I tried the, um, tried the pork, and then I ate the spicy pork. I cooked the spicy pork too, so, and sent that on to show them, you know, a little difference in Korean and Chinese. And uh, I forgot that the spicy pork I use gochujang, which has wheat. So again, I got another something in me. And then, um, it, ha it was like an hour of teaching her when I realized I'm, fa I'm supposed to be fasting. So about one o'clock, I broke my, I went ahead and just broke my fast. Uh, Cause I also put out some food for her to, you know, for her to eat. I, I, if someone comes to my house, I'm, I'm and I'm gonna feed you. I just I can't help myself, and and you probably won't be able to help yourself too because I got some really good snacks, and they're sort of healthy. So I was I shared some of the cheese puffs with her, and she's like, "Are these healthy?" And I was like, "No, but they're not as bad as regular cheese puffs." I mean, to be honest, that's the way I saw it. So about twelve no twelve thirty, I had a bowl of fried rice, shrimp fried rice. And I put ketchup on it. And I had the pork with a little bit of wheat in there. And not too long after that, I had some really bad indigestion. It was some reflux too. So I went immediately and I did the um, apple cider vinegar. And that settled it, but it was still kind of, my throat was raw from the reflux. It doesn't take much, especially with it already <coughs> I feel like the mucus lining is missing and it's just drying out real fast because of it with the drainage or something. That's why I'm constantly drinking and that helps. <clears throat> like the new cup. Uh, it was 2.30 before I took my supplements. 
because I, I, I held off on that because I didn't want to take them early because I'm trying to get my body regulated with the supplements at these times and then going to the bathroom at certain times. And I had doubled up on the uh, fiber because I didn't want to take the fiber late at night, wake up in the middle of the night. So, and then I did that. So, uh, ate a sli slice of souse. Um, And then um, I had some coconut rolls. Oh, those are so good. They're, they're little snacks. I'll make a video about it because they are, I can highly recommend them. They're so good. And then I had, um, put some sort of code on there and I, I can't remember what the code stands for now today. So that's one like. So uh, 415, I had a big cup of buttermilk. Don't go ooh. The fresher you can buy the buttermilk, look at the tag, look at the date on it. It's not as tart. And if it is too tart, you can mix it with fresh, with milk, regular milk, and let it sit a little bit and let it, you know, uh, stir it. And then it, it, it cuts that tartness. But I kind of like the tartness, so I, I didn't, I just did a whole cup, a uh, whole glass, which is, more than 16 ounces. Uh, and then I had my um, uh, night PM supplements and no fiber because I had that uh, double dosage earlier. And then before before my seven o'clock deadline ending, I cooked some oatmeal and I was cleaning the kitchen, doing stuff and kind of scalded the bottom of it. So I turned it off and just let it set. And it was, it was still pretty wet. And it uh, loosened up the bottom and I scraped everything off and I ate it. And it actually tasted better than when it didn't scald on the bottom because that little bit of browning, it wasn't black, added some flavor. But that was the last of what I ate. I just wanted something warm on my stomach. And I got, um, you know, I was at bed at 8.40. Um, no, no more computers, tablets, looking at, reading anything. Um, and I cleaned, I, you know, I was active with um, my friend and teaching her how to cook. And hopefully she'll come back for some more cooking lessons. She needs to, you know, we need to figure out the times and also figure out when she's, um, what she wants to make. She was having a really hard time figuring out what she wanted to make and she decided to cook uh, her father's favorite meal and take it to him. So we packaged everything up so we weren't able to sit down and have lunch together. <clears throat> and she packaged, um, so she took four cartons, two different rice, fried rice. Both of them had shrimp in it. One had egg, one didn't. That was a big difference. And I also used two different, the American rice and um, Asian rice to show her the difference in the texture and the whole process of them. I had a good time. I, I miss that. I miss teaching. I think this is part of why I'm also doing these video series. I, I, that need in me to pass on. I think that's our legacy, you know. Um, when we're gone, hopefully she will have fond memories of cooking with me. And I hope, you know, hope this isn't just a one-time thing. This is um, how some, somebody... Uh, gets to be in, into their adulthood and not know how to cook uh, most things not or at least be able to to the point where they can follow a recipe easily you know with some confidence <clears throat> that that you need to get your hands in and and, <coughs> <coughs> and there's things that cookbooks aren't going to cover and we were covering different things and cast iron cookware cooking in uh, uh, ceramic nonsticks cooking it, you know, I was just giving her history and showing her my, my oldest cast iron versus a newer one. And, you know, this is why an old one that's been taken care of costs a lot of money versus a brand new out of the box cast iron and how I, um, took care of it. Cause uh, I pulled out a big skillet that I hadn't used in a while and it just felt filmy inside and out. 
You're not supposed to wash it. I wash them. And I showed her how I did it and what I did to keep it from um, rusting and uh, corroding in any way. So uh, the I'm definitely off. I, I don't. I got to do something about the sleeping. I think I would have slept longer if I didn't have to go use the bathroom. So maybe it. I cut out drinking anything, but just a little bit right before bed. Um, I, I normally do that last hour or two. I, I try not to drink anything, but I. It was like all sorts of liquids and um, and feeling stopped up. Sorry, I don't know. You would think, yeah, I, I just had a bowel movement not long ago, but it still feels very uncomfortable to me. I'm used, and, and it may have also gotten to where it's somewhat psychological. It's like, I need to go twice a day comfortably. And I'm not, so therefore I'm not feeling good. Uh, the scale is only up six tenths of a pound, which is good, considering um, I had indigestion, which is not normal. I'm not sure what what's different, what I did in the rice or the um, pork that caused that, or maybe it was the sauce. No, that was before I had the souse. So it wasn't the souse. The indigestion was, you know, that, that would be easy to blame. But that wasn't, um... So... I don't know. Tr trying to figure things out and trying to get things back into some sort of alignment. Uh, weekends do, do throw me off normally because uh, whatever routine I have is gone. And what do you think? I love this headband. My hair's all. It was a gift. I need to find this fabric. It comes like, oh, this is old. I've had it for ages. But it, she said she went to uh, Joanne's and bought this fabric. And then she braided it. Crocheted it basically. She did a uh, single uh, chain crochet, and then I just you know I knotted it to where it fit my head. Don't get my earrings in there. Oops, headphones. I forgot I was wearing those. I'm listening to an audio book earlier. A lot of things that have the elastic tends to shrink or they're too tight and they're not comfortable. They don't tend to stay in place as well as this loose loose one. <coughs> Earrings. Oh, I'm wearing my bathrobe because I got cold. This is a dress. And the bad thing is, you know, it doesn't have pockets. It's so comfortable. I love the feel of this one. It's a little bright and patterny. I'm wearing some black pants and socks. But this is, you know, my husband's like, you're wearing earrings. I normally don't around the house. I enjoy them. These are one of my favorite pairs. And people are surprised. They're like, isn't that heavy? It, it, it kind of freaks me out when I see a slit in a woman's ear because she's been wearing heavy stuff that's pulled on that hole. I don't like anything heavy and I don't wear it for long. If it's heavy, I, I don't make it into a clip, so it's clipped on there. But these are really light, actually. So. And a new cup. So that's the check-in. Thanks for joining me on this journey.